They read. And now, Israel. Now you Israelites, you are knowing that you Israelites read. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? Something is required of you. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. You're supposed to fear the judgment of your God. Right. Read. To walk in all his ways. You're supposed to walk in the ways of God. Right. Read. And to love him. You're supposed to love God. Read. And to serve the Lord. You're supposed to serve God. Read. Thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart and with all thy soul. How do you serve God? To keep the commandments of the Lord. How do you serve God? To keep the commandments of the Lord. How do you serve God, sister? And to do what? And to be This is a picture of them doing it. If you can see, you, you look at uh, Vladimir Putin. He just showed in the Russian icons that Jesus Christ was black. The Israelites were black. Right. But they, there was a process called whitewashing or iconography. Bring it out. Where they painted over the images of the black images of the Bible. That's what happened. He said the, the, they covered the faces of the judges thereof. Christ looked like this. And they covered his face with that. Read that again. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Because they had the power to do it. Because we broke God's commandments. That's right. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Read. If not, where and who is he? If he didn't do it, then who did it? If the white man didn't cover up the faces of the judges, who did it? If the white man didn't take away our nationality, who did it? You understand that, sister? That's why we believe in the Bible. That's how we, that's how we know the Bible is a true book. That's because right. Because he gives all prophecies about what happened to us. Yeah. Uh, they lie the streets. Right, no, Isaiah. Isaiah. This is like this is. I'm gonna show you another another prophecy that shows that this Bible's talking about us and that the Bible's a true book. Bring it out, brother. What are you work? You a post office? So you mean you ride around all day, giving out mail and stuff, right? So you see how our people are out here in these streets, right? They crazy, right? Watch this. Watch this. Isaiah, chapter 51 and verse 20. Uh huh. Bring it out. Thy sons have fainted. It said, God's sons have fainted. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the sons of God. That's Read. Right. They lie at the head of all the streets. It said, our people lie at the corners of every street. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see it to this day? Yeah. Are our brothers sitting at the corners of the street, hanging out, getting drunk, getting high? This Bible's talking about us. But they got some white people who are, um, who are not to black people. So, are, so. So, what that mean? They feel bad. Then. Okay, okay. Some of them, bad. some of them come feeling. They give you sad. money. Yeah. Did they, they, did they turn over the houses that they stole? No. Did they turn over the money that they stole? Some. Some of them did. Well, we need all of them to do that because guess right. what? God's gonna judge the whole their whole nation. Right. Because He judged our whole nation because there was some good of us, but we all went into slavery because of what? Because of the sins. Read. As a wild bull in a net. As a wild bull in the net, that's how our brothers are on the heads of these streets. Read on. They are full of the fury of the Lord. They are full of anger because of what's happened to us, because of the oppression that we're going through. Right. Read. The rebuke of thy God. The rebuke of our God. Zakai, get ready. Read. Therefore, hear now this, thou afflicted and drunken. So, because we're afflicted and drunken, but what? But not with wine. We're drunk in oppression. We're drunk in religion. Right? we drunk. we drunk with anger. Read. Right. Thus said the Thus said thy Lord. Thus said our Lord, our God. Read. The Lord and thy God that pleaded the cause of his people. And he's going to plead the cause of his people once we repent. Give me that in Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. Bring, Bring it out. But we have to repent as the Israelites because we I are repent. the Israelites. You are repenting? What's that mean? What's that I, repent? I repent. I repent. I believe in the Holy I believe in the creator of heaven and earth. Okay. I believe. In a, in a spiritual force in the air. Okay. Because whatever I speak of, come in reality for me. Uh -huh. What was your name? I don't believe in I don't believe that anyone is evil. From my mind, I cannot sleep with a white man. Good. Thank God. And I knew that it wasn't right. Yeah, it's so like I bestiality. Just, yeah. It's like bestiality. But watch this, sister. Uh, I'm your brother, right? Yes. I love you. I, I flew from America to come here to talk to you today. So I want you to listen to this. And it's not an attack. This is love right here. Right. 
So Rock chapter 32, verse 24. Uh -huh. He that believes. Hey, you got your eyes up? Read. He that believeth in the Lord. It said, He that believe in God. Read. Take it heed to the commandment. So now we know that we're the Israelites, right? Do you understand you're an Israelite? Do you understand you're an Israelite? You, you, an Israelite? you don't understand that? Did your people go in slavery on slave ships like we just read in the Bible? So guess what that means? You are Israelite. That's right. That's right. That now watch. It said, read that again. He that believeth in the Lord. It said, he that believe in the Lord, read. Take it heed to the commandment. Because as Israelites, we have to believe in the Lord. Right. Now, uh, one thing we have to understand is, what is belief? Read it again. He that believeth in the Lord. A person that believes in the Lord is going to do what? Take it heed to the commandments. You're going to take heed to the commandments. Because we know if you believe in God, you know that his judgments are real. Right? right. We're living the judgments of God right now. Right. So read that again. He that he that believeth in the Lord. He that you believe in the Lord, sister. Read. Take it heed to the commandments. So what we just went through, we showed that our people who went through the, the transatlantic slave trade, right? The sub-Saharan slave trade, our people that was colonized on this side in Central America, right? Are God's chosen people. And we just read it in Deuteronomy 28, showing that the people of Belize are God's chosen, chosen people. people. Right, you understand that, right? I have chosen. So as you are chosen, and 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 you are chosen. You are chosen. All those are God's chosen people. Right. But give me hold, hold this and go to Deuteronomy 10. Bring it out. Watch this. As God's chosen people, there's something that's required of us. Right. All right, good, good, good. Well, you got a scripture for that? No? Okay, then we're gonna let the script, we're gonna let the Bible speak then. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. He's going to tell you what's required of you. I'm not going to say it. I'm going to let the Bible say it. Read. And now, Israel. Now, you Israelites, you know that you Israelites, read. What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Something is required of you. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. You're supposed to fear the judgments of your God. Right. Read. To walk in all his ways. You're supposed to walk in the ways of God. Right. Read. And to love him. You're supposed to love God. Read. And to serve the Lord. You're supposed to serve God. Read. Thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart and with all thy soul. How do you serve God? To keep the commandments of the Lord. How do you serve God? To keep the commandments of the Lord. How do you serve God, sister? And to do what? And to be, that's right. Get that sister hand, y'all. Get that sister hand. So she, she's showing to love God, to serve God, to do what? To keep the commandments to of the To keep the commandments of the Lord. That's what it means to serve him. Now, jump back. To 32. Yes. 32, uh, yes, that one. Read. So rock to the 32, verse 24. Uh -huh. Bring it out. Oh. He that believeth in the Lord. So if you believe in the Lord, read. Take it heed to the commandments. You have to take heed to the commandments. I'm going to give you sisters a commandment right now. Bring it out. I'm going to read something out of the Bible, right? And if you love God, you're going to change. That's right. Over. I love God. You do? Open it for me. You're to find out. Open it for read. me. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Read. The woman shall not. So, wait, wait. Read that part again. The woman. What is it? Who are you talking about? The woman. the woman. Yes. Read. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto the man. What are clothing that pertains to man? What do we all have on, sisters? Pants. Bring it out. They're talking right. about pants. So what? Right. Read that again. The woman uh -huh. shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So the woman is not supposed to wear pants. That's, That's right. right. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. And a man is not supposed to wear what? Like, give me one. Skirt, skirt, right? skirt dress. That, but God right. calls you what? For well, all that do so. Because all that do that are what? Are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So when a woman wears pants and a man wears skirts, God said he's what? An abomination <laughs> right. unto the Lord thy God. So in your repentance, you have to change that. You can no longer wear pants and a man right. can no longer wear a skirt. You understand that, sister? You do? Do you believe the Bible? I can't afford to buy one skirt. You can't afford to buy one skirt? But what you can do, sir? I ride You ride bike? So you can't ride a bike on a skirt? You can buy, you can wear leggings underneath this, sister. Give me that uh, a single man making an excuse according to his will. Watch this. Watch this. Ready for a 70 Y'all, hey, stay with me, sisters. Stay with me, sisters. Stay with me, sisters. Y'all understand that scripture we just read? So what's that mean? Tights are underwear. They're draws. We call them draws in America. 
Those are underwear. You're not supposed to see that. Bring it out. You can tell them I, I like to wear a skirt. Nobody gets fired for that here. I see sisters wear skirts all the time here in Belize. Bring it out. Go to work. Because that's what that's ladylike. That's what women do. But if a man, if a man come to work and he has this skirt on, what they gonna say? Bring it out. They're gonna say okay, right? Because the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Right. This earth is sinful right now. We had to come back and change our minds according to what God said. Now read that. So Rock chapter 32, verse 17. Uh -huh. you know? A sinful man. A sinful person, read. Will not be reproved. They're not gonna hear the correction of the Bible, read. But find an excuse. But they might find an excuse. According to his will. According to what they want to do. Because right. a lot of women, they want to look at their butts. And they want everybody else to look at their butts so they're wearing pants. That's Jeez. what a lot of women do that. So it's to show off their shape. Right? Do y'all y'all believe that? Y'all see that all the time. You see it every day, right? They wear tight pants to show off their shape. But God said what? A sinful man. A sinful person, read. Will not be reproved. They won't hear the, be correction. Reproved. They won't hear the correction of the Bible, read. But find an excuse. They're going to find an excuse. According to his will. According to what they want to do. And right. you're shaking your head because you know it's true. Give me a resume and Acts chapter 5. Yes, sir. Give me that. Now watch this. Again, we have to come back to what God said. We have to come back to what God said. Read. Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Acts 5, 29. Stay with me, sister. Stay with me, sister. Read. Peter, in the other apostles, Peter, 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 you got support from your man right now. Yeah. Uh, that right. nigga right here telling you right now that we support you in God's commandments. Right. Uh, read. Right. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said. So Peter and the other apostles said what? We ought to obey God. Because we have to obey God too. Do you want your man to obey God? Do you want you want your man to have one wife, right? Not yeah, commit adultery, right? To take care of his, his kids, right? That's what we have to do as men. So as to women, you got to fall in line too. Read that again. And Peter and the other apostles said, what he say? We ought to obey God. We got to obey God. Read. Rather than men. Rather than men. We have to obey God more than we obey men. You understand? This is the fashion of the earth, the fashion of the world. We got to put that off and come back to God's fashion. All right. God's your, your man, my man Damn. in your house. Damn. Bring it out. I'm going to show you, I'm gonna show you one thing. We're your man in your house right now. We're the ones that's out here to teach you who you are, what you need to do. Because guess what? God ain't coming down and teaching you right now, sister. Give me a matter of fact, give me Isaiah 30 and 20. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 20. Listen to this. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity. Because God gave us adversity. Read. It's the water of affliction. And he gave us the water of affliction. That means we go through tribulations. We go through things in this earth right now, right? Read. That shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. But your teachers aren't hidden no more. You're looking at your teachers. These are the teachers of Belize. These are the real men that's going to stand up and teach the people of Belize what they got to do to get in order with God. Read. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. You're looking at your teachers right now. You're looking at the man in your house right now. Bring it out. Read. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee said. And, you, and you're going to hear a lot of these people that walk by, they hear this word behind you again. This is the way. This is the way. God's laws is the way. That's right. Taking care of your kids is the way. Right. Being a man in your house is the way. Right. 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 Yeah. Walk in. This is the way you're supposed to walk in. Walk in God's commandments as an Israelite. Read. That's right. When he turns to the right hand. When you turn to the right, read. And when he turns to the left. When you turn to the left. Keep God's commandments. Right. He shall defile also the covering of thy graven images. You got to put away that idolatry. You got to put away white Jesus because right. that's the devil the Bring Bible speaks of. Right. You got to put away Christmas, right. Easter. You got to put away all pagan holidays. Right. Of silver and the ornament of thy molten images of gold. Uh -huh. Thou shalt cast them away as a mistress cloak. You got to cast that. You got to cast all idolatry away like you would your menstrual pad. You gotta get rid of that thing just like that. That's what the Bible says. You understand? Ray. Like I said, thou shalt say unto him, get thee hit. You gotta say to that idolatry, get thee hit. Get thee away from me and come back to God's commandments. Ray. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. This is for you. Verse 3. I know. But I will have you know. I will have you know, sister. I will have you know, sister. I will have you know, sister. You know, sister. Even you read so too, brother. Read. That the head of every man. It's Christ. That the head of every man is Christ. Are you a man, sister? I'm a beast. Are you a man? 
I'm a woman. You're a woman? So is that talking to you? No. It's talking to say me. It, it is? Yeah. What you say? Yes, it's talking to her too? Yeah. Read it again. But I will have you know uh -huh. that the head of every man is Christ. Now read the next part. And the head of the woman. The head of the what? The woman. Who is that talking to? Okay, that's talking to you. So is the first part talking to you? No. So we got to understand it. Hey, but I will have you know. I'm gonna have all of you know. Read that the head of every man is Christ. Who's the head of the man? Christ. So who's the head of you? Christ. What? Ah! <laughs> you missed it. You missed it. Do you get it? But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Who's your head? Christ. Huh? Who's your head? Who's your head? Christ. Who's your head? Christ. Who's your head? Christ. Read. Who's your head? Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. Who's your head, sister? The man. The man is the head, sister. The man is the head. Read. And the head of Christ is God. Who's the head of Christ? Okay, so what is that called? Order. The head of the man is Christ. The head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Right. That's what we just read in the Bible, right? So guess what? Your man has to be in order. Your man has to be in order according to this. That's how he makes Christ his head. You don't agree with that, sir? America? Transgender. Are you transgender, sister? Okay, so you can't be the man. Right? You can't you can't be the man and the woman and the father. Right? You got kids? I'm saying I'm a single mom. She's a single mom, right? So guess what? So guess who your head is? My Lord is my head. No, you look give me give me Isaiah 30 and 20 again. I'm telling you today, sister, Christ is not your head. Oh yes, sister. Oh yes, the man is your head. Yes. Yes. Some men who can't keep the eyes. Matter of fact, give me uh, Isaiah 3. I want to show you, sister, something. Because a lot of that, that happens a lot in America, too. A lot of single women are raising kids, right? And, so, and this is what happens. Read. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. Uh -huh. ask, close. ask for my people. Are you God's people? I'm always yeah. talking about y'all. Yeah. Ask for my people, read. Children are the oppressors. Are children our oppressors now? Are, are, who's who's coming down the ground? The children, right? Who's selling the drugs? The children, yeah. right? Paris. And women rule over them. Said, and the women rule over them. Read. Oh, so the my women, people. So the women are leading them. Read. They which lead thee. He said, they which lead us. Who leads us? Woman. Women lead us. He yeah. said, they that lead us, read. Cause thee to err. They that lead us, our women, cause us to what? To err. Cause us to sin. Because when women lead, can women teach a man how to be a man? The proof is the crime rates in, the, in Belize. The proof is the crime rates in America. The proof is that the prisons are filled with children. The graveyard is filled with children of single mothers. So guess what you need to be in order. You don't, you don't have a man, but guess what you need? You need a man to lead you. You need a man of God to lead you according to the Bible. You need a man of God to step in the house and be a man to the children. Right. You understand that? Oh, so you read. You from the tribe. Only shall compass the man. Yes, give me that. Watch this. Because this is a new thing on the earth. Now there's no fathers in the house. There's no fathers leading the children. There's no fathers leading the wives. So the women are doing the best that they can. But they're failing. So our women are failing. Read. Hey, hey, Jeremiah. Yes, sir, right here is, he, he doesn't know what the color of Christ is. Oh, snap. So Y'all don't know what the color of Christ is, too, right? Yo, come here, brother. I got to talk to you. Hey, but sister. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all know baseball? Three 
strikes? They don't know baseball? Okay, that's okay. Read. Revelation. Oh, back to you. Chapter 1 and verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his. Verse 1 verse. Revelation. So chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. This is the revealing of Jesus Christ, right? That's what we read, right? Read. Verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. Jesus' head and his hairs were white in color and woolly in texture. What's wool? Like a sheep, right? Okay. Now, is this hair like a sheep? Like a, like a, like a sheep? No, it's not. Is that hair like a sheep? So this is strike one if you know your baseball. Strike one for this guy. Hey, 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 uh, hey soldier. Hold that, hold that right there. Hey, does he have hair like a sheep? Yeah. His head and his hairs were white like wool. But we don't see this wool. So, so this guy's hair is not white and it's not wool. It's like a sheep, right? Read. As white as snow. It's not as white as snow, read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So come close. You look at his eyes. Bring it out. Are his eyes like a flame of fire? No, Are they red? It's blue. Yeah. Your eyes is kind of red, bro. Why is that? You been drinking? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so so that's two. That's no for him, right? We don't. And his feet. Okay. Okay. Listen, class. Listen, class. Listen, class. They say his feet, right? I can look at your feet and see your color. I can look at her feet. I can look at his feet and I see the color of his face, right? And read. All right, read. And his feet like unto fine brass. So it says his feet are like fine brass. What color is brass? No, not grass. Brass. You know brass? You know? Huh? Silver brass? You got a phone? What color is that? Dark brown. Brass. Like a pity. I don't know what color pity is. Did you get it? What'd you get? So what color is brass? Do you know? No. No? Like a brass instrument, like a trumpet. It's a brass It's more brown, yeah. Okay, so is his color, is his color brass? Is he brown? Is he brown? He's not brown? He look brown. Are, are you brown? Are you brown? Are you brown too? You dark brown. You dark brown. You dark brown. And you guys are light brown. Are you brown, bro? And that's another real. And his feet like unto fine brass. His feet were like fine brass, read. As if they burned. And they burn it. So if you take that brown brass and burn it with fire, what color does it come? Black. It comes black. So what uh, color is Jesus? Black. Wait, 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 wait. Is he black? Is he black? So which one is Jesus? Oh my God. Which one is Jesus? You said which one? Was that one? He's brown, right? He got hair like wool? Yeah, he got hair like wool? Okay, he got brown guys. skin? He got brown skin? Okay. He got red eyes? Do he got red eyes? So which one's Jesus? That's Jesus, right? This is not the Bible. You understand that, sister? What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's Nation Time.